Yo, what is going on, boys? Holy shit. <laughs> that felt... That felt weird. I cannot even tell you the last time I was in this area ready to film a video. It has been probably close to four months, if not longer than that even. <laughs> but anyways, nonetheless, Smart Bart here, and today we are back with another video, and we got another unboxing type shit. Um, I got a lot of comments on the first one, not necessarily, it didn't do that great views wise, but a lot of you guys were actually really intrigued by it, and just it really caught me off guard because I didn't really know how I felt about posting the video. Um, but here we go, baby. We got a new Dr. Squatch order. Um, so we're going to be opening up this new Dr. Squatch order and um, I'm going to be going into it because a lot of you guys wanted another video on Dr. Squatch. So I'm going to be doing another video on Dr. Squatch. And it's truly amazing to me that y'all keep commenting on my videos and supporting me and everything when I don't even really make videos anymore. So it's um <clears throat> it just shows a lot of, of support and everything else so anyways before y'all see all the personal shit on here let's cut this open so i can get rid of it honestly i don't even know what's gonna be in this box uh i know i got the new limited edition halloween one because yes by the time I'm filming this video, it's literally like almost October 31st. And I'm pretty sure the last video I filmed in, in this spot and everything was probably like back in July. Uh, that I actually filmed. Anyways, and uploaded. Anyways, box smells fucking great. It's all packaged very nicely. You know, you got packing paper and whatever. Alright, so here we go. This shows, uh... What, what actually came in the box, this little slip. So I've been using Dr. Squatch for probably about, um, probably about close to a year now, I think. I think the last Christmas is when I really started using them and got like my first stuff. And I've just been starting to use their deodorants. I, last time I got a wood barrel bourbon deodorant. Um, I loved it, like best deodorant I've ever used. And that was like the first deodorant I've used. I've used their hair stuff and uh body wash and everything since last christmas but i just got into their deodorant and their de deodorant is awesome also i don't know dude how many videos have i made since i've had a mullet i've had a mullet since like august and i'm pretty sure you guys have seen it like twice so anyways bye bye the long hair it's, i have a mullet now and it's it's wild beard is completely grown in <laughs> also wild because when i first started making videos i didn't have long hair and I didn't have a beard, but here we are four years later <laughs> Anyways, okay, so first thing out of the box we have pine tar deodorant um, so let's Oh, that smells fucking fantastic. So it's like a like a uh, How do I do this? I don't know like a uh, There we go like a brownish kind of color not brownish. Did I say brown? Holy shit. I meant like a really dark gray kind of thing. Smells just like their pine tar soap. It smells great. Their only issue with their deodorant. Well, first let's see what else we have. So we also have another wood barrel bourbon deodorant stick. You know, same thing as the pine tar one. Um, see how this little... protectant seal on it that I apparently cannot get off. Aha! Pocket knife, baby. Anyway, so her wood barrel bird one smells so good, dude. I love their wood barrel bird one. This one probably is gonna be better than their pine tar one, but I can't say that right now. Wood barrel bourbon deodorant is so good. I love their wood barrel bourbon soap as well. It's also a really good one. So anyways, we got two deodorant sticks. We got pine tar and wood barrel bourbon. Now what I was gonna say about the deodorant sticks of Dr. Squatch is that while they are really great and they do actually smell good all day, like they're not some like cheap ass Old Spice or whatever, um, whatever you wanna use or like speed stick bullshit, you know, 
this stuff actually works and all the products I do fully believe in and I do think their products are all of them are just great but their main issue for deodorant I feel like is it just it runs out so quickly um, it's not a very big stick obviously and I'm pretty sure this is like 12 ball 12 dollars for one of these so it's very pricey too um, but a lot of their stuff is very pricey but I mean what do you I mean what can I say you pay for quality you know so you want to pay for cheap deodorant and that's on you at that point anyways so we also got um, new fresh falls uh, conditioner hair conditioner and shampoo so they have the fresh falls one and then they have the cypress coast one which I have that one as well and then they also just came out the pine tar one so I'm pissed because this order didn't come to the pine tar one when I should have gotten the pine tar one but I didn't know they were coming out with it so next time I'll get the pine tar one and everything else but this is nice because you know this is what I wash my hair with and this is what keeps my hair so nice and everything else other than you know the gel and other shit that I put in it um anyway then on to the actual uh bars of soap here we have we got three bars of soap this time so it's not a very big order like my last one was but we have a wood barrel bourbon bar of soap to go along with you know wood barrel deodorant smells great it's got medium grit which you know the grit in their soaps if you don't know they have zero grit medium grit and high grit so for example or heavy grit i mean this is their pine tar bar so we also got a pine tar bar to match for deodorant smells great i love pine tar um pine tar is what i recommend anyone to first use when they you know first go into dr squatch i feel like it's just the most uh grabbing flavor not flavor holy shit what is the food anyway <laughs> i feel like pine tar is just the most like grabbing um soap or and it'll just keep you hooked and you're like holy shit that is good and then you're just gonna keep buying more and whatever and it just becomes an addiction and a problem and eventually you're injecting soap into your fucking arms I'm kidding, that doesn't happen yet. But Pine Tar's good. Pine Tar's a masterpiece. So definitely recommend that one to start with for anyone in Wood Barrel Bourbon as well. And so Pine Tar is a heavy grit bar and Wood Barrel Bourbon is a medium grit bar. They also have zero grit bars. And basically, I'll show you what, what I mean by that. So here is the Pine Tar bar, you know, in all of its glory. And y'all see like all these, uh, little like like specks in it and everything else like that right there so that's actually a uh i don't know what you want to call it whatever they make it with their ingredients and everything else like uh, i know one of their bars is filled with just like sand grits and everything and it's just it's just really nice um so basically what it does is the heavy medium and zero grit so the ones with zero grit have none of that it's just a smooth bar that you just rub on your body and whatever and then the ones with medium grit have a little bit of it but not too much and then the ones with heavy grit have a shit ton of it and it just exfoliates your skin a lot. I love the ones with grit and it makes me feel like I'm actually like cleaning myself, I guess. But that's just me. So it's a preference thing for sure, for sure. Uh, and then finally, our last brick, we have the limited edition Brick of the Dead Halloween soap. So this says ground vanilla vine is like the the little thingy right here i don't know if that's what the bar must smell like or what but it smells like vanilla a little bit for sure um so this is their brick of the dead their limited edition you know halloween brick it's got a very cool design to it that's very very nice it smells like uh fall kind of in a way smells like vanilla and kind of earthy I guess it smells really good um, I don't know how I feel about this one but there it is so there's our three bars of soap like I said though pine tar is an absolute banger if you're first getting into this stuff which I know a lot of you guys on my last video commented saying that you were and that you don't really know what to get and everything I highly recommend just getting pine tar right off the bat pine tar is I feel like it's just the best bar um ultimately and if you don't like the grit then just get ones that don't have grit in it they have you know so many other scents in whatever as well that there's you're gonna find one that you like like i love the ones with grit so I, I don't really tend to use ones that don't have as much grit in them but there's 
Their Fresh Falls Bar of Soap has zero grit in it, and I absolutely love the way that that one smells. Um, and so I use that one all the time, even though I don't like not having any of the grit in it. Um, <clears throat> so there's, you're bound to find something if you're first getting into this stuff. Um, and yeah, I also don't really recommend buying the deodorant until you're like fully sold on the company and everything. Um, at some point I'm gonna buy like their colognes and everything else just because, and their candles and whatever, just because. I absolutely love their company, I love their marketing, I, you know. Even though it's expensive and whatever, I am fully into it and I love their products. I love, you know, I'm a big, I'm a, I'm a huge guy on hygiene and I feel like pine tar just takes, you know, my hygiene level just to the next, next level. You know, it's so much, I feel just so much more clean and enjoyable. It just really ultimately puts me in a better mood um, showering with Dr. Squatch rather than um, showering with like Old Spice or, you know, your old, you know, your blue goop and whatever and you, whatever. You know, it's kind of weird talking about it since it's like shower stuff, but seriously, like you just feel good after you shower with Dr. Squatch. There's nothing, um, you know, like I can't argue with that or anything else. So ultimately that's just the big reason. You feel fucking great and you smell great and you're gonna look great. It's just gonna make you the man you wanna be, pretty much. Um, so yeah, that's my entire Dr. Dr. Squatch box. Nothing else inside, obviously. Um, and so we got, you know, more hair care shit. And then, you know, three bricks or three soap bars and we got two deodorant sticks as well so this will last me a pretty long while i'm on their subscription plan so they just send me shit like this all the time um and so it's very nice because i'm always stocked up and i always have stuff to shower with and i'm never running out of soap and i also never have to go to like walmart or something and pick soap out to shower with because it's delivered to my front door it's very nice um although i do gotta complain about their shipping a little bit shit takes like three four weeks it's kind of annoying um, cause like, it'll say like, oh yeah, your order is on its way now. I'm like, all right, cool. Awesome. It's not like, I, you know, I'm not like in a rush rush cause I still have a whole bunch of it. But like this, this brick I ordered at the beginning of October. I specifically changed it. So you get the limited edition one and I'm just now getting it at the very end of October. So it's a little frustrating, but it is what it is. Um, shipping stuff can be a bitch with COVID and everything else. Um, so if we can do about that pandemic and everything, it's, I don't want to get into it. Anyways, this feels weird making a, a video in here again. It's just, I've done a lot of shit since, uh, since I was really on like the full YouTube grind and everything. And ultimately, I don't really want to talk about it too much in this video because, you know, I'll talk about it later in the year when I make my four years on YouTube video and everything else. But, you know, I just, I, I don't know what to, what to do anymore and you know there's some nights where like I can sit down or I'm with with my friends or whatever um, and I'm like yo we should make a video on this and they're like yeah that'd be pretty cool and I'm like all right let's fucking do it and we do it and then there's other times where I'm just like like I don't want to film any content at all like this doing this like no I don't want to film this like let's not do this as a video or like I'm at home and I'm like I could review that or I could buy this to review that or I could do this to review that or whatever and I was like I don't why I don't I don't why you know it just at this point I just feel like I'm kind of just like meh about the whole thing YouTube in general and I feel like it's gonna stay that way for a while but that's my little update. I don't know when I'll be back with the next one. I do have a Halloween video that uh, I haven't posted by the time I'm making this one, but it'll probably be posted before this one um, because it's. I think I'm filming this on the 27th. So it's gonna be posted the day before Halloween. Um, so if you haven't seen that and this video is up after that one, then hit one of these corners and you can go watch it. And anyways, guys, that's gonna be it. I don't know when I'll, Make another video after this, or whatever. Maybe the Halloween videos after this. I'm not completely sure. Regardless, I don't know when I'll be back necessarily. So I hope you guys are all staying safe, doing well, and just being happy in life and vibing, and that y'all are just doing shit that makes you happy and just enjoy, enjoy the world for what it is. Laugh and smile every single day. And um, yeah, hope you guys are all just 
just doing great and we'll see you guys in the next one all right boys see you later